EA Sports. This is Funkmaster Flex, and it's time to separate the men from the boys. This is the one y'all been waiting for. You ready, Street Fight? You don't want to shoot right at me. Come on. You ready? Come on, come on, come on. Get this is what it's all about, people. I'm saying it's time for Death Jam. Hey, yo, Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up? You see what I see? Yeah, I see what you see. I see a fool who about to get his ass kicked. Hey, yo, this is DMX. Keep smiling, Ted Nori. What's up? It's Christina Milian. What's up, baby? It's your boy Face Marv in the house. Ash, your knuckles component. Tony Stark's Ghostface Killer. Funk Flex. Dub, see the killer hunt. What's up? This is Luda Chris. Batman, baby. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Check, 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 check. Check this out, man. Ever beats me. For all madness and street fighting has become organized and has a new address in the urban underground. Get ready for a rap style rumble when EA Sports Big hooks up with the posse from Def Jam. Def Jam Vendetta will be bringing the noise and the fight to your PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system. I would describe the game as Fight Club meets hip hop. Uh, what we were going for was, you know, kind of an urban game that takes place in illegal fight clubs and hardcore fighting action mixed with some wrestling elements. We wanted to keep the game really, uh, really fast-paced and uh, and make sure that it was uh, still stayed true to the uh, the urban culture, but still at the same time uh, make it feel like you were still playing an EA Big experience and, and and kept it really over the top as well. Vendetta blends the best talent from the fighting game and music worlds, and that means partnering with Aki and Def Jam. Aki is uh, one of the best developers of wrestling games, but we wanted to create a game that would kind of take it in a a new and different direction, hip-hop hits the ring. Def Jam brings the star power of great artists like DMX, Ludacris, and they also bring an authenticity to the whole hip-hop urban culture. You want authentic? How about mixing it up with Method Man or Scarface? You want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Capone or Nori? Bring it, because they're all good to go in Vendetta. In getting the Def Jam artists into the game, we, we did a lot of research about uh, the personalities. Uh, we took a lot of cues from their songs, their personalities. Y'all really think this cat can handle the dog? So, for instance, you know, DMX, we knew, loved cars, loved bikes, and so we decided to put him in, like, a junkyard, right? We work closely with the Def Jam artists themselves to actually see what, what was it that, that these guys wanted to look like and how did they really want to be represented in the game. Um, and we listen to that and then we'd, we'd actually take some of their ideas and incorporate that into the, uh, the conceptual illustrations and designs that we did. Each one of these artists has, has a huge colorful personality that comes across in everything that they do. It's like you want to torture rack them like this? They were very explicit about, you know, how they wanted to move, what their fighting style was, what their signature moves should be, um, what their taunts should be. Who want to see me break this kid up? I'm going to carve you up real nice, Y'all about to see this dude catch a bad one, baby. I can't get broke. I'll cut you down. They weren't shy in showing, you know, some of those moves off against uh, some of the members of the development team. So, you know, we took a few bruises for the, for the show. The, oh my goodness! While some of the EA team were getting beat up, others worked on getting the beats into the game. I think this is a first for for electronic arts and for most video games working with like name artists, recognized tracks. So what we're trying to do is feature the well-known songs by the artists as well as make sure that we can do it in an interactive way. Each arena has a key Def Jam hip-hop track associated with it. So as you progress through the game, you unlock more and more music. So by the end, you should have the entire roster of tracks that are in the game. Def Jam! Yeah, there's great hip-hop personalities, music, and lush environments. But this is a fighting game, and you want some mad gameplay. And Def Jam Vendetta doesn't pull any punches. One of the cool things about um, Aki's system, you know, is it's, it's easy to pick up and play. So one of the things that is important that you that you pick up right away is the difference between tapping and pressing buttons. Because if you tap a button, you're going to do a light attack, and if you if you press and hold that button, you're going to do a strong attack. And by varying 
um, you know, how you press your buttons, you're, you're able to uh, pull off a variety of different combos and different um, strings of attacks. Vendetta is all about the hits, from the fighting to the music. I think what uh, people will be talking about when they get their hands on this game is uh, just this unique marriage of hip hop and fighting. I, I think it's something that's never been done before. It's a fresh and cool new idea. I think this is like one of the first games that really manages to bring hip hop culture to a mainstream product. There's no product that's ever really captured the essence of what hip hop's all about. Which is what EA Sports Big is all about, creating games that stand head and shoulders above the rest of the crowd. I think everybody will be talking about the, uh, the, the huge EA Big style special moves on the background characters. Um, it's, it's pretty brutal. We, we tried to make it like really, um, really over the top and really, uh, really crazy. And there's actually a lot, of, a lot of funny moves in there as well, too. So I think it'll, uh, it'll tickle your funny bone as well as, uh, as, well as make you go, oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So if you want to fight, go big or stay home.